of another Lancashire sporting legend who mm. became a hero of both county and country thanks to his skill, speed and sportsmanship. And we will let his daughter, Jean, introduce him. And there's another Matthews goal to come. And what a sizzling goal it is. My father was the first footballer to be an international superstar. And Stanley Matthews is there in the number seven shirt, five foot nine inches of football magic. Known as the Wizard of Dribble, I called him Pop, but to everyone else he was Sir Stanley Matthews. This is where our family lived for many years, Blackpool, and this was my Pop's favourite place. He used to come here every morning at seven o'clock. He'd run for a couple of miles, whatever the weather. He was before his time with regards to everything to do with health and fitness. He was dedicated to improving his body. Pop started playing football professionally at the age of 15 at Stoke City Football Club. During the war, Pop was stationed in Blackpool and he got to love it and he wanted to come back and play here for Blackpool. The transfer fee paid to Stoke City was £11,500. Does that compare with today? Not quite. This used to be the Romford Hotel and this was the business that a family took over because in those days footballers didn't make enough money to live on. This is the room that the family all slept in during the summer. The reason was that the other 28 rooms were full of visitors. It wasn't the best for a young child because there was no family life, never had a meal together as I can remember. The best is yet to come, come the day you're mine. When our parents sold the hotel, we were able to move here. It's where we had our family home for 20 years. This is where my brother Stanley and I were brought up. This is our bolt hole from the rest of the world. It was amazing. The garden was 100 yards long and every week on a Sunday we had friends round to play a game of football. Well, there was more passion put into this than there was for the real game on the Saturday. So Stanley's still a, a club legend here because of the, the famous FA Cup final in 1953. I think Pop's favourite moment playing for Blackpool was that cup final. Oh, what a day that was. All our family were sitting together way up in the stand and of course we were losing and everybody said, oh, that's it. It's a goal, Bill! There he is, the hero of the Bolton side. It was down to the last half hour when he just went berserk. Look at the speed of that man. Just all his skill and all his oh, enthusiasm and passion for the game. This was it. There's Matthews. There's the man who's really fighting for his cup medal. Could he score the winning goal now himself? It's there! To this day, it's still called the Matthews final. He promised his father that he would one day win the cup final with his team. His father had died, and I think that meant so much to him. The style of play that he, he produced as an individual was way ahead of his time, and how he conducted himself both on and off the pitch. And I think also the fact that he played for such a long time and. 50 years of age it was when he played his last game, so, you know, he was just a phenomenal man. After Pop died, the Sir Stanley Matthews Foundation was set up as a tribute to Stan in Stoke. The main purpose is to give children of any ability from any background a love of sport. This has come directly from what Pop's life was about. His values, his warmth for people, and his enthusiasm. We used to say enthusiasm is the key to success. Oh, isn't oh that wonderful? yes, and a big thank you to Jean for yeah. sharing her memories of her dad. You can see a brand